<laughs> like I can't wait till next Tuesday to get my hair done. It's not an option. Like it's not a thing. Like help me. Like I need. A, like I'm losing myself. She like popped up on my phone. Like hey, this is her first time coming to my house. Like YouTuber, they like you turn this down. Just finished with the ball cap. Now we're gonna put the wig on. Get this is super hot. I need, I need to find a way to go to her every month. Like, I need to, uh, I'm finna. I'll do so much, I'll do so much. Okay guys, so we're at the nail shop. I need to work on my procrastination because I'm sitting here talking to y'all that like the nail shops are about to close so I had to just pull up on one. So who knows if I'm going to get what I'm looking for. But basically I just want my nails the exact same thing, like really square, but I want like a cobalt blue. And then if they have enough time, I would like to get my toes in cobalt blue. I thought I had like a picture of it, but yeah, I'm getting my nails like really short, just cobalt blue. I'm looking for a color like this. You want a shell? Um, I don't know. Right here. This one? Let me see. That's the brightest one that you have. Jim? That's the brightest. I feel like this one's like a little bit brighter. Jim. Maybe this one you said. Yeah, I guess this one. Thank you. Yes, I love it. She did perfect. I really wanted to show y'all, but I guess he ain't put that shit on today. I guess today was something slight, but it's called King Nail Spa. And I don't know if you can see the owner at the register, but this is Porsche right here. I find it funny because his plate says Lock King, like LLC, like he got locks, but it's Asian man does not have any locks. I don't know if that's his last name or what the case may be, but literally the last time I came here, this is not my um, typical nail shop. This is by my mom's house. The last time I came here, he had on a Patek buzz down, and I don't know. I just am used to that in my culture, but I found that funny to see that here, but he didn't have that one today, but love my nails. So cute. This is what they, but yeah, so anyways, love my nails. This is what they look like. I'll show you guys in better lighting once I get to better lighting. My camera's about to die, so I'll see you guys. Hey y'all, so I'm literally like in the bed. I wanted to show y'all my nails because I guess I can't sleep. But these are my nailies and I like my nails. They're so cute. I'm like more focused on my hair brand and you know like 
getting your hair done and buying wigs frequently back to back like how I plan on doing so to elevate my hair business it's very costly and so I have to like make some sacrifices and I can't be out here getting hundred dollar hundred fifty dollar long nails when it's like that's money that could be put into like some hair installs I also feel like I'm not gonna be able to get my lashes done until after getting my hair done. I really wanted to get my lashes done before my hair, but it's given my hair appointment. I'm gonna just have to put on some lash strips and then next week get my lashes done because it's like a bitch needs, I need a thousand dollars. I need a thousand dollars. I need like somebody's son to give me a thousand dollars. What? I might got my own money, but I'm sick of taking care of my goddamn self. I need a real man to step to the motherfucking front line and take over. Hold a bitch down. The fuck you talking about? And they always come up, ooh, the things I would do for you if we was together trying to sweet talk me. Bitch, do it now. What's holding you back? Because the bills do now, not later. So send the motherfucking funds. And then we could discuss an arrangement in a potential relationship between you and I. Don't try to get some motherfucking poo nani from me and then run off into the sunset with another bitch with an empty coin purse. I don't listen, I don't get down like that. I need the proof of funds. Bitch, this like the motherfucking bank when you're trying to get a loan. I need something up front. I need the motherfucking proof. Bitch, now send me that shit now, daddy. When a woman is so expensive, like the buying the wig this week my wig was not cheap 13 by 6 hd wig from my virgin hair vendor i'll show y'all the wig before i drop it off to the stylist to be customized but the wig nails toes the install and these girls is not cheap okay and lashes Plus, just adulting. I could put on some lash extensions. I mean, some uh, lash strips and call it a day. Like, what's up under here is a no-go. Like, I need to get my hair done now. So, as far as, like, these hairstylists, I am always trying to elevate in my hair business. Like, I'm always trying to step my cookies up. Like, like, like my, like, Nicki Minaj is like, I'm my worst critic. Like, I never right. think, I never think I'm doing enough. I always think, up. Oh, mm. And I need to step it up, step your cookies up. Like, I tell myself that all the time because the minute you don't, you'll fall off. Myself, I'm my worst critic, and I'm always just trying to figure ways to step myself up. And I've really been marketing my, my mentoring for helping women start their own hair business, hair brand. And um, I've been seeing results since the new year has started. And I feel very blessed, very abundant for that. And it my own results are inspiring me to go even harder so i don't even want to do my own hair anymore i know how to do my own hair but i really want to get my hair done by some of the like top best stylists in the cities like i need the baddest heifers on the block like and even if that heifer isn't me like the heifer isn't me like i am real enough for myself to know that there are some stylists out here that do far greater installs like plucking baby hairs all of that far greater than me and at this point i need the baddest heifer like even if she's not me to ladies wigs like i want to create a whole series on my channel at least once a month where i get my hair dip slay whip to the side and i show y'all the process and really just show you like me styling my vendors my two vendors hair like doing different styles cuts colors like I needed to be like I needed to be up there like I needed to be like on like some arrogance hey Ari Jada type of level like I'm trying to elevate I want more exposure for my business and I know I know what people want to see when it comes to like the hair industry I know what makes people what gets the girls attention and it cost money to make money and these hairstylists baby these girls is costly like i can't wait till next tuesday to get my hair done it's not an option like it's not a thing like help me help me like i need like i'm losing myself you know what i'm saying 
And I was like, girl, like, do you have an after hour fee VIP squeeze in? What's the fee? Like, I need my hair done like this week, like, like tomorrow. She was like, you could come on Wednesday. I have after hours appointment available on Wednesday. So I was like, what's the fee? She stops responding. I put a question mark. No response, but she posted on Instagram. So then I'm just like in desperate. Uh, something told me to go look at the books for the first stylist I wanted to go to because she reopened her books today for the following month. For April, we are in March. And it looks like she posted somebody canceled this week and there's an 11.45 Wednesday appointment available. I've been rambling for 10 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up, y'all. She don't tell me no crazy price and she can service me on Wednesday. And if she can't, then child, pray for me because we're gonna see in the morning. Okay, y'all, so I was able to book an appointment with the original girl that I wanted and I have to go drop off my wig to her like now because my appointment is in the morning. But I wanted to show you how the wig comes straight out of the package when I ordered from my vendor. So they shipped through DHL. I ordered on like a Tuesday and literally got my wig on a Thursday. So they have a very large stock. Their wigs are basically, for the most part, most of what you will order will already be like available and made. It doesn't have to be made to order. So they're able to like ship it out and print the label same day. Um, so even though they're in a different country, two days is amazing. So this is the 12A 13 by 6 HD wig, 180% density, deep wave, 26 inches. When I sold my wig, I called this the Miami wave because it definitely is like a Miami wave. Put one of these inside of the cap for the stylist to use small because why not? But she is really good at what she does. So I feel like HD or not, she's going to do what it do. So... Oh, I've never been so stressed out to get a damn hair appointment with a hairstylist like like I look like a mess and I just don't even really feel like talking in the camera so here is the curl pattern of the wig and it is a 13 by 6, real 13 by 6 wig, y'all. So, you know how, like, them AliExpress wigs, it'll be, like, basically real wide in the middle, but the sides be given, like, an inch. This is a real, what a real 13 by 6 looks like. And I'm doing, like, a half up, half down. So, I wanted to give my stylist the most amount of parting space. And this is real HD lace. It is, like, a... It has like a slight nude tint to it, which is perfect for my skin tone. Um, it's not like 100%, 100% transparent, but you can see how small the knots are. They're like super small and it's already pre-plugged. So hopefully she doesn't have like a hard time plucking, especially with such a last minute appointment. But this is what the lace looks like. Can you see that? not really <laughs> can you see that not really <laughs> not really naya i can't really see it like can you zoom in let me zoom in like what like what like keep it a buck <laughs> real hg lace babes real hg lace I will never steer you wrong. So this is my version hair vendor in my startup a hair business course list. Real HD lace. Real, real, real. Real, real, real. Don't play with it, okay? Don't motherfucking play with it. So let me drop this wig off to this girl because I'm booking with her last minute. I'm not trying to irritate her. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on the way. I'll see Zua. All right, y'all, so, uh, all right, y'all, so, good morning. It's the next day. I am not at my house. I'm actually dog-sitting, so I'm letting somebody's dog out while they are out the country, but that's neither here nor there. Um, this is my real hair. I'm growing out some finger waves, and I don't know why people think just because you like to wear wigs that that means that we're bald-headed under our wigs. Like, I don't know how long my hair is, per se, as far as, like, straightening it out. Because I haven't straightened it in, like, a year since I started growing my finger waves out. 
but um, it never gave bald headed or like no edges. Cause literally a week ago, somebody asked me, they were like, Naya, um, how long is your real hair even under your wigs? Like, if you want to ask me if I'm bald headed, just ask me if I'm bald headed. Like, honestly, truly. Um, but yeah, I'm about to head to my hair appointment after the dog goes to the restroom and, um, I'm really nervous. I feel like I'm about to go to Dr. Miami, like, like when you're about to spend $4,000, $5,000 on a new booty and you're like, you're excited because it's like, oh, I'm about to have a new booty in a few hours. But then like, you're nervous because you're like, what if my booty is not bootying the way like I want it to booty. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel because update on the hairstylist brand i'm actually going to the original hairstylist that i wanted to go to the secondary one that i had booked um she ghosted me for asking her questions i was trying to get a squeeze in like inquiring about my appointment and it just already rubbed me wrong that like i couldn't get no response from her i'm calling her and everything but she posted on instagram and then like literally after like 24 hours it was like 11 o'clock almost 12 o'clock at night last night she like popped up on my phone like hey this is her first time coming to my house like oh you know so sorry i wasn't responding but anyhow um this this that and the third trying to answer my questions and it's like baby it's too late y'all need the lace with had a cancellation so i'm going to cancel you and i'm happy i'm talking to y'all about this right now because i need to let her know because i was like it's 12 o'clock at night i'm not gonna text her back right now but i was like when i wake up in the morning i will let her know that unfortunately i'm canceling that appointment um that i accidentally booked for next tuesday i thought i was looking for it is tuesday because i'm not walking around like this for a week so yeah like that's crazy people are hitting your phone up talking about money like actually talking about like spending extra with you for squeeze-ins and just everything calling you texting you no response like girl so it all worked out because i'm going to who i wanted to go to originally anyways so yeah i tried to like put on some makeup a little bit of blush because you know i'm also I'm spending so much money on this appointment, but I'm looking at it as marketing. I'm looking at it as promotional purposes. I'm also going to look into how I can use um, getting my hair done as a tax write-off because it is for marketing for my business. And um, I just know what girls are looking for when it comes to, sorry, the lighting is going in and out. I'm in front of like some blinds waiting on the pup who I don't even think he's going to the restroom anymore. He's just like parlaying around, but I'm letting him because I'm talking to y'all. Louie. This is Louie the Frenchie. This is Louie the Frenchie. This is Louie the Frenchie. Say hi. Look. Look at the camera. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Louie. Hi. 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 Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Okay. But anyhow, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a little bodysuit. Just a cute little black bodysuit. Back is out. Boobs is pooping. Booty is booty in. And waist is snatched. Okay? So, um, I'm about to go. And I will see you guys at the appointment. Let me show you how to do a singing bitch greasy You was pop Linux, you're the one on Peachtree I was with Dimitri, see you when you're loving hip-hop men DC Fuck these petty niggas is a bitch motto If I say it on wax, every bitch follow If I'm sipping in the club, mix Moscato I got a big fat ass, big dicks follow Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him with the back shots, hit him with the ass shots Took him to the pink, then I hit him with the cash drops I do it big, I hit him with the caps lock I'm gonna pull, I hit him with the mascot No, I never been there, but I like the Bangkok Big fat titties when they hanging out my tank top <gasps> You gonna play me? On Instagram, nigga tryna shave me But your bitch at home tryna play me I'm Nikki and Weezy FKB Man, fuck you and your lady Gun butt you Cause you shady Now which bitch won it Cause that bitch get it Which bitch won it Cause that bitch get it Which bitch won it Cause that bitch get it Which, which bitch won it Cause that bitch get it Which, which, which bitch won it Cause that bitch get it Which, which bitch won it Cause that bitch get it Which, which, which bitch won it Which, which bitch won it Which, which bitch won it Cause that bitch get it Which, 
bitch won it, cause that bitch kid it. Bitch, bitch won it, cause that bitch. Queen of rap. I'm the 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 queen of rap. Rap. I'm the queen of rap. I'm the queen of rap. I said go ride deck by the queen of rap. Bitch won it, cause that bitch kid it. Bitch won it, cause that bitch Somebody might try to come for me for saying this, but I feel like a Ari type of bitch. Like, it's giving, I could see Ari getting her hair done like this. Like, and I'm not even like fangirling. I just really feel like, I told her, I said, I feel like I went to Eric and say his, himself. Like, she was like, don't, she was like, don't do so much, don't do so much. <laughs> oh, like sometimes I hate myself for, being like I have to have the best of the best like I have to have the best of the best go to the best of the best and sometimes I hate that for me because ah! <sighs> but it was worth it it was worth it and I really don't even feel like she really looked out she really she was so funny like Yanni was so funny she was so nice. Her braider was so funny. This is the funniest hair appointment I've ever been to in my life. Like, the stuff that we talked about, laughed about, like, just the way that she did my hair, like. <sighs> Are you seeing this? Get in the sun, yeah. Get in the sun. Get in the sun. Get in the sun. Uh, are you seeing my hair? Are you seeing my hair? Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? I need, I need to find a way to go to her every month. Like, I need to find. I'm finna. Genuine impression like I was trying to contain myself. Okay, my makeup. I didn't set it or anything. I look like a totally different person. I look like a totally different person. I feel like a Puerto Rican. I feel like a Puerto Rican. I feel like a Puerto Rican in this hair. Like. Ah! I wonder if this is super hot. <laughs> I be spraying myself in the eye. I'm like, I need to smell good. If I look good, I smell. Mm. Mm. And I want to give a big shout out to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. This is what I just sprayed on. This is their scent. Hopefully it will focus. This is Ambry Sapphire Saffron. Ambry Saffron. And I'm super late in um, promoting this because <laughs> look how much I have left. Look how much I have left. This stuff smells good. And I basically have had this for like maybe going on two months. Or maybe I got it in January. Maybe I've had it since January. We're in March. And I keep this in the car. This is like my before I step out the car perfume. It smells so good. And I was feeling like it was something where like I would spray. I smell it right now. I smell it in the car. But then like when I get out the car and I'm going about my day, I felt like I wasn't smelling it. So I was like, you know, maybe since it's like more affordable, it doesn't last as long. But no, I've actually been having like people, it'll be like hours later or somebody like oh you smell good like literally no gas like at least three or four people will have told me like I smell good when I pass by and I literally had to pull up the dossier website and show them cuz I don't like coming across like that girl like oh, cuz they're like oh you smell good so I, I feel like I gotta sell them the scent or whatever and it smells good it's supposed to be inspired by Baccarat I don't know what the actual Baccarat smells like but um, the notes are orange blossom jasmine um, cedarwood, plum, oak moss, and amber. And I don't really like, I don't like powdery, um, floral scents 
Um, I just, I'm 26 years old. Okay. I'm closer to 30 than 18. So I like to smell like a grown woman. Okay. And the gag is supposedly they were telling me that they are in Walmart now. And that must be a real thing because I have my friend Vashti. She was posting on, um, her Instagram story that she had found them in Walmart and she had purchased them. So I was like, oh, that's a real thing. They really in Walmart. I haven't went and looked around Walmart and seen that myself, but Dossier, if you'd like to send me some more, <laughs> cause I really will buy this myself. Like they sent it to me, they gifted it to me, but I really am gonna buy that myself. Cause it's like, it's nice, it's soft. It's a nice scent, everyday scent. And it's one of those scents where you don't have to feel bad about overspring because it's affordable. I think they're like 30, $40. Anyhow, any who, ye how, what she say? Anyway, ye how. Who the fuck told bitches they was me now? Uh, yeah, yeah. Y'all need the lace switched. Y'all need the lace switched. She did that. Anyways, let me go. I'm about to go pull up on somebody. Cause who the fuck told bitches they was me now? And that's on version here. Okay. Everybody talking about raw hair. Every 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 time I turn around, everybody's on raw hair, raw hair, raw hair. Everybody's talking about raw hair now. You're welcome. And it's my raw hair eats, slaps, of course, but this is my virgin hair vendor. Everybody can't afford raw hair, that's the thing about it. So when you see everybody promoting and talking about raw hair now, everybody's promoting and talking about it because it looks good, but don't fall for the okie doke. Like, if you just start selling hair, let me turn on the AC. I was trying to keep it off for y'all so y'all can hear me, Woo, but we in Texas, baby. Um, but everybody promote raw hair, but I'm real enough as someone that is like helping y'all start your own hair business, hair brand, to let you know that everybody can't afford raw hair. Not just the customers, but y'all wanting to start your hair business. You'll purchase my course and start reaching out to my raw hair vendor and see that those prices are steep. Those are, by the time you resell that wig, you're reselling that wig for six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars. So you, your marketing has to be like up to par. Like, that ain't nothing to play with in order to find the target audience that can afford to buy that hair. So if you want to start selling hair, I feel like I wanted to bring it back to my raw hair vendor. This is, I mean, I'm sorry. I wanted to bring it back to my virgin hair vendor because this is, this is what I started this YouTube channel off of is my virgin hair vendor and she's still very much so my home girl and yeah, I still rock with her and she sells the best HD lace like she sells the best HD she has better HD lace than I feel my raw hair vendor and she said like raw hair vendors be actually contacting her vendors be contacting her trying to buy her lace because who the fuck told bitches they was us now like who the told they was us now I'm about to I'm about to send my vendor five attachments because she gotta see this we're actually like legit friends I'm really close with my um virgin hair vendor because I've been working with her since like 2020, 2019. When did I start this channel? <sighs> Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Cut the camera. Okay, so as y'all can see, this is my virgin hair vendor. We're literally friends. I sent her pictures. She was asking if I had got the hairstyle yet. And I sent her pictures and we were talking about it. But Willa just recently got married. Look at my girl. This was like her honeymoon pictures that she sent me. Look at my girl. She sent me pictures from the wedding, but I don't want to show that because they didn't have like glasses on and I don't want to just like be putting her pictures out there like that, but she has glasses on. Look at my girl in the pink drop top convertible. So yeah, she's literally like my girl. Yeah. I feel like she has like the best HD lace. And then as far as the hair, it just, for me, it's good hair. And they're always really full. This is 180% density and look how full it is. And she also has 200% density. So it really could be even thicker, but um, she had a special going on for income taxes for 180% wig. So I went with the special and bought this wig and you could buy one wig at a time. So I highly recommend her. She has like not, steered me wrong so it's been about two and a half weeks i just went ahead and peeled my lace off because it literally was lifting 
because of the Houston humidity. I had took the style out of the wig, but this is the reality of lace. But I'm able to reuse this wig because all I need is some hairspray and to wash the lace, of course. But look, look at this. Yeah, the reality of lace, I would either need a retouch to go and get it glued back down or I could just wear a glue list, which I'm going to show y'all how I can wear a glue list in the next clip. But I just wanted to show y'all the reality of lace and even show you how good this lace is even while dirty. Look at that. Like what? She's done. Alright, hustlers. So before I go, I just wanted to show y'all this wig because as you saw in the last clip, that's the reality after about two to three weeks. I don't care who you went to to get your hair installed by. It could be the celebrity hairstylist, the baddest heifer in your city. Um, two to three weeks, just like with nails, lash extensions, you're going to start to see the reality of lace. My lace was sliding back. It was starting to ripple. And um, that is not necessarily a reflection of the hairstylist. I do live in Houston, Texas. So keep in mind, it's very humid, which basically means that it is moisture and a lot of heat in Texas. So my wig just started, I noticed within like the end of my two weeks worth of having this install, it just started to slide back. The The glue essentially wasn't as effective. So I can't walk around like that. So I went ahead and took off the wig. But I did want to show y'all because I don't know who to slap. <laughs> like, should I slap me or should I slap the stylist? Because one, I hate the fact that I'm so high maintenance. But secondly, I hate the fact that like, why is she so talented? And why does she put her foot into this lace? Like, you can actually see the inside of the wig and see that she created like a real scalpy hairline. So it's perfect for me because I spent about... 265 270 by the time I tipped, I did spend, oh my God, $300 on this install and it only lasted two weeks. But I forever have a wig because uh, my vendor, they send a wig with an elastic band. We did not use the elastic band for my install because it was glued down, but an elastic band is inside this wig. So it is capable of being glueless. So I already have a customized wig that is plugged, has an amazing hairline, HD lace. So I'm just going to wash it, wash off the excess glue, and I'll wear it glueless now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you on the next one. Shop that vendor below.